course, with Grammar Train, uh, with Pete and Dalton being in Seattle and, and me being here in Austin, uh, we're having to use technology to be a band, at least for the writing process. And we're actually amazed at how much chemistry we still have over the internet. You know, we're, we're writing these songs and in and, and pre-production, we're realizing that it, we still just sound like we wrote the stuff in the same room together. Oh yeah, I, I could hear it. Kind of like with a snare or something. So like a in the second verse, maybe maybe you can kind of uh, tell me what you think. But in the second verse, the first there's just this little drum fill, and I like it. But the room mic, um, if there's too much room mic, it just makes the tom I use sound really pingy because of the compression and stuff. And it depends on how we end up using a room mic. This is a conga with drumsticks. The way we've been going through the writing and the recording process is Pete writes the scratch tracks and um, records the scratch tracks, I mean. I mean, he writes them first and then he <laughs> records them. I mean, he puts them on a server on the internet and then anybody who wants can just take them. <laughs> Okay, show this jump fill. Pete creates a scratch track, puts it on the internet, um, on a server, and then I'll download the files and put them in sonar, and um, record some scratch tracks on my drum kit and um, see what works and what doesn't work. And then when it's time to record, like it is now, I mic everything up, play the scratch track, and um, have a nice day. For the fans, just, man, thank you guys for not forgetting about us. Uh, the emails and notes on the MySpace are, are very encouraging, and um, we're very overwhelmed by how happy you are that we're back, and um, it's making us all the more happier to, to be back writing this music and doing these shows. So thank you for not forgetting about us, and we'll see you out there. Wow! Well